Hello, in this video I'm going to give you five different scams to look out for in your supermarket or grocery store. Now these aren't all scams, some of these things are just mistakes that supermarkets can make that you should look out for, and some of them really are tricks that supermarkets actually do pull to try and fool you. I'm going to leave a link down below to a playlist to all the other scam videos that I've made previously. If you like this video then do check those out because I think you'll really enjoy them. I've got a list on my mobile phone which I'm going to read off so in no particular order let's start off at number five. Incorrect or misleading price labels. Supermarkets don't always set out to deceive you but sometimes they accidentally can. So say for example there's been a special offer on a product and there's a sign next to the product telling you about the offer. Say it's buy one get one free on M&Ms or something and that offer runs out at the end of December but on January the 1st the shop forgets to take the sign off the product. So you pick the product up thinking that it's still on offer and then obviously when you buy it you don't get the discounted price. Supermarkets are aware that it's illegal to present offers that are outdated. They're likely to give you a refund or maybe even let you have the item for the price you thought you were getting it for. Another example of a misleading label is when you have a special offer label that's in the wrong place. So sometimes the people who put the labels on the shelves just put it next to the wrong product. So you see a special offer item, you pick it up, go and buy it, but actually the offer wasn't for the product you purchased at all. So it's always a good idea to check firstly the expiry dates on offers and secondly read the small print on the offer and make sure that it relates to the product that you're picking up. And if you're at all in doubt, just ask a member of staff. At number four, we have the honey trap. So have you ever noticed the really good offers on the ends of the aisles in your supermarket or grocery store? Well, this is a well-known technique by supermarkets to lure you in. They put their best value items on the ends of aisles so that you're drawn in and look at them. And then they'll surround those honey trap items with less impressive deals that may not be very good value for money at all. So just be careful when you're looking at honey trap items to make sure that you're not picking up extra things that you wouldn't have otherwise bought. It's also a good idea to check to make sure the thing you're buying is actually a good deal. Sometimes you can find something in a supermarket that seems like a good price because it's got a big sale sign on it. But then when you look it up on a website like My Supermarket or on Amazon if it's an electrical device, you could find that it's not as good a deal as you originally thought. At number three we have multi-buys. Little known fact about me is that I used to work in a supermarket during my university studies and I learnt about multi-buy scams by working on the checkouts and so my example of this is a real one. It was six yogurts for two pounds. So many people used to pick up these yogurts thinking that that was a fantastic deal. There was a great big yellow offer sign plastered all over the yogurts and when I used to put them through the till the actual discount would come up. Six yogurts for two pounds and you were saving six pence. Even when something's buy one get one free or if it's five for four or six yogurts for two pounds actually add up how much it would have cost without the offer and make sure you're not just being drawn in by an attractive sounding offer that actually isn't that good at all. At number two we have special offers. So just like the honey trap items, shops will often have a huge range of items that are discounted or on a special price, reduced by 50% for this week only or something. Now these discounts aren't always what they seem. Now I think things are changing, but there has been a history of supermarkets doing things like raising the price of an item for a week to a high price so that they can say the following week that they've reduced it by 50% even though it's spent most of the time on the shelf, very near or even at the same price as the new lower price. So watch out for that. I mean, if you're happy with the price, then you should just buy it. But as I said before, it's always good to check other sources and make sure that you are actually getting a good price. At number one, we have the price per gram. When you're looking at the price of an item, you shouldn't just be drawn in by the price. It sounds a bit boring, but you should actually calculate whether or not it is a good deal. And this is particularly true of items that come in different sizes. For example, shampoo or breakfast cereal. Just because you're buying a bigger box, don't assume that it's better value for money. Or just because a smaller item is on a buy one get one free, 
don't assume that that's better value than buying the bigger one. Often in the UK and probably in other countries too, on the little price label you'll get a price per milliliter or gram or price per item or something. And this allows you to actually work out whether the different sizes are better value for money. Say you've got two shampoos and one's 500 milliliters and the other one is a litre. If you divide the price by the number of milliliters, in both cases, whichever number is lower tells you which one's better value for money. And that is the price per milliliter. It sounds a little bit over the top, but you don't want to be conned by buying something that's more expensive when you don't have to. Anyway, that's the end of this list. I hope this has helped you identify some sort of common scams in supermarkets. Let me know down below if you can think of any other scams that you think I've missed out. I'll also leave a link to a playlist to my other scam videos. If you like this, I think you'll probably like those. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.